Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula, home of the Husky community. Hope you're doing well today. We're just sitting here chilling with my two Huskies, Britney Spears, he's the boy of the house, and over here we got Gila, and she's the lady of the house. Isn't that right, missus? What? Couldn't hear you. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I heard you that time. Today we're gonna be talking about... <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is that? I tell you what, living out here in the country, there's so many weird bugs. There's so much weird freaky dicky stuff you gotta get used to, isn't that right, yo? There's bugs of all magnitudes, spiders and flying insects and mice and stuff. Kind of never ends living out here in the sticks, you know what I mean? Ooh, this be Gila's favorite toy in the whole wide world. You know how I know? It's because I know a husky when I see a husky. You know what I musky meanie? The reason this is Gila's favorite toy is because it's made with memory foam. There ain't no plush in here, boy. This means this foam is smart. It remembers stuff. That's why Gila's like, oh, it's just like me. It remembers junk. Big ol' Huskaroni pizza tip. If you got yourself two Siberian Huskies, one Siberian Husky, 50 Siberian Huskies, you know what it's like having plush toys around the house. They're constantly torn apart, shred to pieces, but if you get toys with memory foam inside of them, very soft, very hard to penetrate, very hard for Huskies to tear up, and they prefer it over plush. They just, I don't know, for some reason they don't wanna get into it as much. Yeah, there you go, big booey. There you go, big Britney Spears, you get the pink one, dog. But yeah, memory foam, way better than plush. Check it out, go to your local uh, pharmacist, your local pet food store, ask them about the, uh, the memory foam. It works wonders, my brothers. Okay, today we're gonna be talking about a topic that people usually discuss whenever they're getting themselves a Siberian Huskaroni pizza. Should you buy one or should you adopt? Adoption versus buying. I gotta be honest with you, bro. I don't know why they use the word adoption. Like, I never seen a human being give birth to a dog before, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm just saying, like, all dogs are adopted, right? You know what I mean? You know what, you, you know what I mean? No, I'm just playing. I don't know. Maybe you could be giving birth to a dog or something. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't gonna speak for you or nothing. You know what I mean? No, in all seriousness, if you are interested in purchasing a Siberian Husky, what is better? Adoption or just downright buying a pepperoni pizza? Now, either way, you're most likely going to pay money because there are adoption fees whenever you do adopt dogs, but adopting is a very noble thing because there's an argument to be said that you're not adding to the overall problem of overpopulating dogs and, and putting them in the kennel. Right off the bat, there's a difference in price. If you're going to adopt a Husky, you're only gonna be paying probably less than $200. If you're purchasing a Siberian Husky, you're gonna be paying anywhere from $600 to over $1,500. I mean, the prices go wild whenever you buy Husky puppies. It also depends on males and females. Males are typically more money, females are typically less money. I know, they're prettier though. Now the other upside and downside to this is that you're gonna have a Siberian Husky puppy most likely if you end up purchasing, which means you're gonna have to go through the whole entire puppy phase. And a lot of people like that kind of stuff, especially the ladies. Oh my God, the ladies, they just love a puppy. They just love a Siberian Husky puppy, boy. But puppies are not easy, man. They are so hard. They're just, it's really difficult to take care of. They're always on your mind. You gotta make sure you watch them 24 seven. They don't sleep at night. They poop everywhere, they pee everywhere. They wanna eat everything. So some people don't wanna do the puppy stuff. Plus, it's a lot of money to get all the stuff you need for a puppy. And then guess what? They're not a puppy anymore. You, you wasted like, like $3,000 and you never need it unless you're gonna have another puppy again soon. Otherwise, most people just put it in the garage and go, oh, now when you adopt, you're typically not getting a Siberian Husky puppy. And the reason why is because most adoptions, most people who put Huskies up for adoption, they did the puppy thing, they couldn't take it, it was way too hard, the Husky was too loud, out of their control, so they end up giving it up and it ends up in a rescue or a pound, whatnot. And by that time, the Husky has at least gone through puberty and they're old enough to, they're just, they're old. you don't typically see Husky puppies in shelters or rescues or pounds and things like that. So if you do get from a rescue, you're gonna expedite that whole puppy process. Now, to some people, that's super sad, but to some people, that's that's pretty cool. You get to skip all that stuff. Now, like I said, this is all kind of like a give and take sort of scenario. It's all just about what you want 
and what you are looking for when it comes to a dog. So if you do have a puppy, okay, you're gonna be able to train it and teach it at a very early age, kind of socialize it and whatever. And that's gonna be beneficial to you because it's gonna look up to you. You're gonna be like all that it knows. It's, it's gonna trust you. It's gonna be easy for your dog to do and be exactly the dog you want it to be when you train it from a puppy. And it's not impossible when you have a rescue dog, but it's just a little bit harder because you're gonna have to focus more. You're gonna have to have more training involved because you obviously aren't that rescue husky's first owner. Now, a lot of people say, oh my gosh, you know, you need to go rescue a husky. It's the number one thing you gotta do. People like to pressure people like, hey, if you don't rescue, then you, you're causing problems and junk like that. As long as you are a responsible dog owner, you love your dog, you take care of them, you stick with them through and through, you can get your dog from a breeder. That's 100% cool. Another thing that people like to claim is that Siberian huskies are filling up kennels and rescues and pounds everywhere. And that, that the best thing to do is to rescue because there's so many of them out there being given up. Well, it is true that a lot of people do give up Siberian Huskies regularly because they don't realize how hard it is because the big old boofers and their floofers and their floofiness. But Siberian Huskies are one of the most picked up dogs when it comes to rescues and kennels and pounds. Every kennel and pound will tell you that people call them constantly going, Siberian Husky? Do you have a Siberian Husky? Because you can get a really good deal on a wonderful Siberian Husky if you go to the right place at the right time. So typically, if you're looking for a Siberian Husky and you're going to a pound or a kennel or a rescue, you really gotta be quick. You gotta act fast because people will scoop Huskies up out of rescues very quickly, which is great. That's awesome news. So just remember a few of these things when it comes to rescuing versus purchasing. Before I finish up here, there's also something I wanna talk about. There's an element of like crime here that we haven't discussed, an element of evil. So whenever you are adopting a Siberian Husky, basically if you're gonna rescue a Siberian Husky, you got better odds of getting the dog you want because most rescues are certified, they have employees, you, they have a brick and mortar building that you can walk into, visit the animal. But when it comes to finding a breeder, and finding someone to get you a Husky puppy, that's eh, a little bit more shady because it's kind of like this like dark web like slash black market of people who are just trying to scam people out of their money by promising a Husky and then they take your money and it's, it's, it's a really big problem. So if you do want to get a Siberian Husky puppy, if you want to buy from a breeder, you really have to do your due diligence. You can't just be like, I'm, I'm just gonna like go on Craigslist to like just trust this guy named Fred because you, well, you say you got one. You gotta be a lot smarter than that. So just use your nog, you know, be a little bit more careful. You gotta be careful when buying from breeders. When it comes to adopting, it's pretty vanilla, you, you're, you're gonna be okay. That's all I really gotta say about adopting and purchasing. I mean, obviously adopting is the most noble thing to do. Purchasing isn't bad, you just gotta make sure you're getting it from the right breeder. You know, you wanna make sure they're ethical. If you guys have anything to add about purchasing versus adopting, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you and know what your opinion are on both of these thingies. Whichever way you decide to go, we're sure you're gonna be an awesome doggo parent. Just be sure to watch all of our videos so you don't miss any information free tips and good stuff. Thank you for watching today's episode. We had a blast hanging out with you. If you had fun, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. And we'll see you next time with another episode of Guess What? Yeah, you guessed it. Whatever we make. Peace!